Hey, what's up guys? It's Ike Paz from internetmarketinggym.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a stripe background for your printables on Canva. You can use these stripe, uh, stripe backgrounds for your decorative quotes, for your calendars, for the games you want to make for whatever type of uh, occasion, okay, whatever kind of printable that you're going to be selling on Etsy or on your e-commerce site. Okay, so first thing you want to do is pick the, the size of the paper that you'll be uh, working with, your canvas, okay? Uh, internationally, um, around the world, people use A4 as their standard size. Uh, in the U.S. is U.S. letter size. Let's click on the U.S. letter size, okay? But the same applies, the same techniques I'm showing you here will apply for the A4, okay? So first thing you want to do is create your stripes. So you're going to go to the Elements section, click Elements, go to Shapes, okay? And first thing you want to do is uh, click on this white box here. And we're going to have just a narrow, no, sorry, we're going to have just a square here. We're going to take the sides here and bring it in and bring it in until it's, ni until it's nice and narrow. We're going to create our template for our, our first stripe, okay? Uh, now we stretch it out, okay, just like that. We're going to center that. We're going to get the rotate button here and rotate it. I want what I want to do, I want to make our first stripe nice and long so that we can duplicate it, okay? When we duplicate it, we can uh, do all kinds of cool things. We can make as many stripes as we want. So that's my first stripe. I'm gonna then what, I, what I'm gonna then do <laughs> is copy that and move it to wherever you'd like, okay? And copy it again and repeat the process until you have enough stripes, all the stripes that you want. Okay, we're not done. We got a lot to do. So I don't wanna. I don't want to take a break and come back when it's when this is all done. I want to show you from start to finish what it takes to create a background, okay, uh, with stripes in it, so that you can create printables and sell them on Etsy or on uh, on whatever um, e-commerce site you use. Um, I'm Mike Paz, by the way. I'm the creator of Printly, a course on how to sell on how to sell um, printables. So if you want to learn more about selling printables online, you definitely can check that out. That's Printly. And uh, yeah, you'll see me there creating videos much like these showing you how to create really cool printables in niche, in niche, uh, in niche markets that people want to buy. So you wanna, like I said, go back, going back to the stripe here, you can make it even, uneven, whatever you want, but I'm just showing you off the cuff how I make stripes for, um, for in my example, I make stripes for baby shower games, so you can make them for birthday games, or again, like I said, decorative quotes, calendars, for journals, whatever you want, for a, maybe a, some kind of ebook or lead magnet that you're working on, it's up to you. So, oh, what's this? So as you can see, I'm just copying. Actually, I don't put so many stripes in my uh, in my uh, in my stripe background printables. I, I like it less. But hey, I'm just showing you this, so you might want um, to. Oh, you want you might want to keep as many stripes or put as many stripes as you want, or you might want to have less. It's up to you. Depends on your taste or what you think your market wants. Okay, so here we have all our stripes. Okay, and looking at it for a long time is kind of like um, it's disorientating a little bit. Okay, so after you're done putting in your stripes, okay, uh, you're gonna want to click this button here. Okay, this is a border, or maybe not this one. Excuse me. Let me let me delete that. Let me delete this right here. Click this one here, okay, because it has a border and it's filled in. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is where you want to put your 
your game and stuff, or your calendar, your decorative, your decorative quote, your um, your game, your your, uh, your journal, uh, the background for your ebook, whatever it is. This is where the content's gonna be. Okay, check it out. And okay, so we have everything's black and white, but as you as you saw earlier, we can change that really easily. So this gray area, I'm gonna color it white so that I can fill it in with uh, with whatever I want to type in there, okay? Now, if you're looking for a zebra theme, you're done, okay? But if you want to change the color and whatnot, um, let's say let's say you want to make a 4th of July kind of thing going on. So another thing, if you want to click the background, see, see the whites between the stripes here? You can change it really quickly just by clicking whatever the prime color is for your for your printable. So let's say it's yellow, then it's boom, yellow. Now I have like a bumblebee um, type of uh, thing going on here. But let's say you want to keep it um, 4th of July. So I'm going to keep that white. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to one of the stripes here and make that blue. Okay. Maybe maybe a dark. No, that's a good blue. I like that blue. Okay. Then I'm going to make the border blue. Or should I make it red? Uh, let's, let's make it blue. Same color, boom, okay. Now go to every other stripe, every other stripe, and click the same blue. Click on the same blue, just, just like I, I did right there. And as you can imagine, I'm gonna make uh, every other stripe, when, I, when I'm done doing this, I'm gonna make every other stripe red. So we have our nice, um, red, white, and blue. The backgrounds are already white, so we don't, I don't have to worry about that. We can have our nice red, white, and blue um, printable stripe background. Actually, I, I like stripes a lot. I use stripes a lot for my uh, printable games that I make. Um, stripe backgrounds. Not all, of, not all of my printables use a stripe background, but a lot of them do. Uh, like, for example, the baseball, one of my most popular uh, printables that I sell is a baseball theme that uh, has a really cool stripe background. It gives it like a vintage feel. A lot of stripe backgrounds go for that that vintage feel. Okay, so I'm done with my blue. I'm going to go with red now. Check this out. Boom. Oh, no, that's background. <laughs> Let me click white again. I'm going to click this black here and hit that red. Boom, like that. Hit that red again, do it again, and continue with that all the way through. You see, just continue, click that black and turn it to red. Click that other black stripe and make that one red. Okay, so you do this and uh, I'm gonna be done. Okay, real soon. I'm not done yet, though. I gotta explain some other things. So you hold on right there. Okay. So <clears throat> actually, this 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 is more like a postcard. Or like an aviation type of stripe background, okay? But that's cool too. Uh, again, you can change the color theme, color scheme to whatever you'd like. Uh, as as you as you know, it's super easy. Um, again, if you want to click the background, change the background. You just go to background here, and you can change that real quickly, real easily. So there you go. Uh, you can download this as a, let's say. Let's say you're working on a um, an ebook, and you want to slap this on the background of the ebook. You can instead of PDF, you can click p dot png, download that as a PNG, and then stretch it out on your on your Microsoft Word or on your Open Office to create a background for your ebook. Or if you want, what 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 the, what the easier thing to do is just put in the game in here, put in the the calendar. Let me give you an example. Let's go to uploads. Maybe I'll find something that I can uh, that I can uh, 
use here. Uh, let's see. I can put, for example, I can put something, for example, let's say this this kid's this kid's um, printout right in the middle of this. And now we have a kid's printout game with a Stripe background. There's a ton of things you can do on Canva. I'll be making more videos. Again, if you want to learn how I make, uh, how I profit online selling printables, making printables, finding printable product ideas, all of that good stuff, you can go to Printly, P-R-I-N-T um, hyphen L-Y dot com, Printly. So there you go. Have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Sando, yo sigo andando y sigo.